Hello everyone, been a while since I uh, <clears throat> made a YouTube video, finally had some time, so I thought I'd make a video about the objects that you see in front of you. I won this at an auction house about a month ago, and uh, it's just about finished with its restoration, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Now. What we have here is about 150, 160 years old. It is Victorian. It is mahogany and brass. And it is an apothecary's pill rolling machine. Now, you have to remember that 150 years ago, when you went to the pharmacy or the apothecary, there was no such thing as easily accessible off-the-shelf medicine. If you wanted medicine and if you went to the apothecary to get it, then the apothecary would have to make it up for you on the spot. He would have all the herbs and roots and leaves and plants and animal bits and pieces and he would diagnose you and from his dozens of bottles and drawers he would take out the ingredients necessary to make the potion, lotion, pill, ointment, whatever it was that you would need to uh, cure what ailed you. And one of the things that he would have made is, well he would have made pills and this device was for making pills. So how did he actually do it? Well, first he would have taken all the dry ingredients, all the active ingredients for the pills, and he would have ground them up into a powder in a brass mortar and pestle, like this one. This is an apothecary's mortar and pestle from about 1870, 1880. So he would have ground everything up, and once he had all the uh, dry ingredients ground up, he would put in a few drops of sap or syrup to uh, coagulate all the dried powders and form it into a paste. So, once he had the paste, he would tip it out of here, and... Then he would have to work it into a ball, into a mass, a single coagulated mass, and from that he could start making pills. Now I've got some medicine here. This is highly potent Play-Doh medicine, and I'm going to use this to show you how this thing worked. So what he would do is he would put his little blob of medicine there, and uh, you need very little uh, medicine to actually do this. This is probably more than enough. So what he would do is he would take his paddle. This is comprised of three pieces. You have the paddle or roller, you have the board, and then you have the pill drawer at the bottom. So what he would do is the apothecary would roll out the pill mass until it was nice and long and thin he would need it to be as thin and as uniform as possible stretching out across the entire length of the board like so and then he would flip this over and you'll notice that this has little rollers, little uh, wheels on it, and they lock in like that. And then it was simply a process of drawing this across, which I will do now. Now, as it goes over the grooves back and forth, it cuts out the pills, as you can see here. So, you would keep 
rolling it across and eventually it would take the uh, entire pill mass and deposit it into the drawer here at the end. And here you would have your pills. So what you would do is, uh, this drawer is removable, you would pop this out like this, slide it out, and here you would have all your pills. And then you could, uh, what you would do is you would let the, uh, the, like, the paste dry out and the pills would come nice and firm and you could put them in jars and bottles and sell them. And so, there we have it. Now, when I got this uh, little device, it did require quite a bit of uh, restoration. I had to polish all the brass, and I had to rebuild the pill drawer, because that was missing. And... I had to go online and look up uh, complete examples and see what they looked like and how they were shaped and from that I managed to uh, design this one and complete the pill rolling machine. If you want to read up about this in a bit more detail then you can go to my blog and look at the article which I have there, which I have written about this piece. The link to my blog and the article is in the description below this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment if you did.